there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, so you're live for the people right now. Let the people out there know who is Derek Peter. Let them know. Well, Derek Peter, as you know, I have been on the um, music scene since the early 80s, 90s. Uh, in my first recordings with Ari J Records. Okay. Okay. A song called Feelings of Love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I then um, did a next recording, King Pharaoh's Army, which was released by Rye Cousins and the One Beasy Tomoki label. That song went number two wow. on the top wow. 20 the Black Echo chart. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and um, I've been doing quite a few recordings since then. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about you and how you got into music. How did it all begin for you? Okay, it uh, began as um, as I was growing up. I had this neighbor who is always was always playing music. He, he had this, this sound system, and in the weekends he would just string up his sound. And most of the Sundays, um, the music he, he played would be like. Music from Tom Jones, Sing the Bird, Um and you know those kind of songs. Okay. Played reggae too, yes, but he mostly played those songs. So I was kind of hooked on the, the Tom Jones thing, and that that was where I get my uh, musical my musical um the love for music, really. Okay. So you listening to those songs. Yeah. yeah. So you spoke about the song about. Feeling of Love. How did that come about for you? <laughs> okay, um I was a kid um going to school and you know, I had my little girlfriend and and saying no, okay. I, I was wanted to write the song and that really inspired me to write that song, so I, I wrote the song Feelings of Love. Okay. Okay. How how do you go about writing your songs? Do you freestyle it or do you write it down? Well, I um first I I I freestyle it first and then after that I I write it down. Okay. So why do why do you think music is so strong for from from then and now? Music is always a um a strong thing. People tend to to take onto music, no matter what form it comes in. Yeah. And music have a great influence on people. Okay. Because of the melody and the things that people sing about. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. So, tell us a little something about your new single that you've released. Okay, my single um. Give them what they want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that song came about after um, Miss Raquel Father Free Cap approached me after um hearing a few of my songs and telling me that she want to sign me. Okay. She like the way. Okay. Yeah, she liked the way I sound, so she want to sign me to the label. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And she um, brought it to me and said I should listen to what she got. I listened and then we decided, okay, we're going to work on this song. Okay. After, um, it's all about the reggae music. After we, we, we've been hearing cries from people all over the world saying that the, 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 the quality of music has declined. So we decided to write the song, making a plea to the musicians and artists in reggae music to kind of change from what was going on and bring back the authenticity in reggae music. Yeah. And at the same, yeah. and at the same time, to give tribute to the icons who have set a stage over the years and made reggae music what it is today. So it's a plea and a tribute. Bring it back. Yeah. So, speaking of that, 
would you be up for letting the people hear a little bit of it from yourself now? Bring it back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No one, no one of say we no one of fake regret no more. Give me the real, real thing for sure. No one of, say no one of fake regret no more. Give me the authentic for sure, for sure. Bring it back, bring it back. Bring back the conscious music. Bring it back, bring it back. Bring back the roots, roots music. Bring it back, bring it back. Bring back we can trust music. Bring it back, bring it back. Bring back we roots, roots music. Wish I could bring back the days when we go a dance on the way we both know life lies. Oh, what a time it was when the reading dropped on everybody to just a jump up. No one fighting in the dance, few romancing in the dance, no one fighting in the dance, Roberto playing in the dance. Bring it back, bring it back, bring back we can trust music, bring it back, bring it back, bring back we roots, roots music. Yeah. yeah, nice vibes, man. Big respect. So, what's next for you? What What is it that you're up to now? Okay, we are we're working on an album now that we we'll we we'll release in the next year. Okay. So um, we're we're halfway through the album, so we are concentrating right now on finishing that album. Okay. Where we. We got all the tracks. It's just to, to do the recordings right now. So yeah. we are just working. We are just working on the album right now. Okay. So everybody look forward to that. Okay. <laughs> so have you got any events where people can see you live, or is that in the pipeline? That is in the pipeline. Okay. Okay. Definitely. So yeah. What What about if somebody wants to? connect with you on social media and so on. Do you have those links for them? They can call Mr. Raquel Farbs. Okay. okay. She can link Raquel Farbs or Recap on Facebook. Alright. Recap on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so okay. you're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And Twitter. Okay. Recap. Then. All right, then no worries. So I'll let people definitely know for that. Also, as an artist, you've been in business for so long. What would you say to young people who want to get involved in music? Okay, young people who want to get in music, I would just tell them to believe in yourself, believe in the work that you do, and always stay positive. For real, definitely. But... Also as well, is there any kind of pointers in regards to being an artist um, about the authenticity of the music and so on for young people out there coming up now? Well, it is, it is of importance for them to keep the authenticity of the music because remember, reggae music was built on authenticity. It was built on and struggle yeah. our people. So it is important to keep the authenticity. Reggae music is something that um, teaches people to how to live. It is it is a farmer it is it's a farmer religion. Yeah. Yeah. For real. At the moment in the in the music and what you're listening to at the minute, is there anybody that you could recommend for the listeners out there to lock into apart from yourself? <laughs> there are so many artists. I know. Mary Salmon. Yeah. Coco T. Richard Stevens. Yeah. Bushman. Those are artists.
artists who are really keeping up the authenticity in reggae music right now. For real. So that's is that a bit of your playlist? Yeah, well, yeah, in a way, yeah. <laughs> okay, definitely. I've. It's been really interesting to speak to you as well. But also, if people want to um, check you out on social media and everything like that, you've given us the link, which is great. I'll also put them on my social media page. But is there any kind of final words you want to say to the listeners out there who are locked in right now? Just to tell them that Keep listening to Derek, Derek Pitt and Recap Music because I, I'll be giving them the best. I will try to give them what they want. <laughs> yes, man. Let's so to speak. For real. I just want to say thank you to you for taking the time to talk to me. I really do appreciate it. Yes, and I want to take the time out to big up the Recap family. Yeah, man. Miss Raquel Forbes, Mr. Jamal Russell, Silvano Russell, Mr. Ian Demirit. Let me know it's a pleasure working with them. Yeah, man. Big and, yeah. <laughs> big shout out to them, too. Yeah, big shout out. Big shout out to them. Yeah, man. And big up yourself. Of respect for having me on your show today. Anytime, anytime. Just remember any music, anything like that, please send it my way and I'll play it all the time. We'll always be sending you some. Okay, great. So until next time, we're gonna say speak very soon. And of course, once again, thank you for calling in. I really do appreciate it. Been a pleasure, been a pleasure. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Kat. Blessings. Bless up, bless up. Bless up.